Today's a big day for Intel Arc owners. CDPR has added XESS to Cyberpunk 2077. I've decided to retest this game with XESS and I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison with FSR to kind of see how they look and how they perform. However, actually booting up the game, um, I, I recorded a video of this game months ago um, with uh, the Arc GPU and I was actually getting pretty bad performance. Um, so this setting here in a similar area, in the same area, I was getting 45 FPS. This is 1440p Ultra um, with you know no, no RT and no scaling. I was getting 45 FPS and so now I'm getting 60 FPS. So either Intel secretly updated the game drivers without telling anybody because I never noticed it in the notes or CDPR actually optimized the game for Intel. But regardless, the game runs a lot better um, even without XCSS. So this makes this test even more interesting because the base performance of this apparently has gone up quite a bit. And I've tested this with a few other people just to make sure on different rigs, just to make sure it's not just my machine. And uh, they have the same, you know, 20 to 25 percent improvement. Um, it's just 60 locked. Uh, which is a huge upgrade. So, I mean, you can just play the game now. That's 1440p Ultra. Um, so I'm going to actually up the resolution to 4K to actually, you know, benefit because, I mean, it's already running at 60, so whatever. Um, that's fine. But so let's go up to 14, let's go up to 4K so that we can tax the system. So then we can actually test these two settings because there's really no point, in my opinion, going much above 60 um, unless you have a super high refresh rate monitor. Okay, so this is 4K native Ultra, no ray tracing. And we're at 30, so we basically halved our FPS, which makes sense. So this is quality fidelity FX. We're getting about 37-ish FPS right here. Ignore the average because I've been playing around with settings. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we'll come in here and we will switch switch this up to quality. So basically the same. We lost two frames or whatever. So. 37, 36. We lost a frame. It doesn't really matter. And in terms of the XCS, in terms of the XCSS uh, balanced here, we're getting 41 FPS, so that's fine. And the f image looks clean, nice actually. Again, 4K, so we have a lot of pixels to work with. Let's go up here. We'll set this to balance. We'll set this to balanced here, and we'll see how it looks. 44. So again, a few more frames. A couple, like I think, literally it was three, two or three. Not a big deal. Uh, the image looks worse. Um, again, I hope it, this can show up on film. I hope this can show up on the video, but it looks worse. The car looks softer. 4K here. Just I do want to I just want to do some comparison of some of the objects you can see here. So let's start with it on just like native, I guess. So 4K native. We're not looking at frames here. I just want to see how things look. And uh, nice and crisp. No weird artifacting. Everything looks really nice. At a distance. Obviously, things up close look good obviously, because we're at 4K native, but looks really, really nice. So now what we'll do is we'll throw on a little bit of, uh, we'll throw on just balanced FSR to start, Let's see here. And this is a problem with FSR. May not show up well on the video, but there's kind of like a weird shimmering that happens around the tree bows. So you can see around the, like the pine trees up in the bows up there, there's like this weird shimmering effect that you get when you're using um, FSR. Um, you know, there, I don't know what that is there. There's some weird thing going on in the center there too. Um, so, I mean, up close, everything looks fine. You know, like this guy looks fine. Surfaces look fine. But when you look off into the distance, it's a problem. I noticed this especially in Cyberpunk, and I also noticed it in uh, Red Dead Redemption. The FSR just gives you these weird artifacts. Thing. I don't know what the heck is up with that thing. Okay, it's gone. Um, that's back again. But anyway, so there's these bows kind of going on. You can see shimmering there. If we come in here and we turn it up even higher, it probably will get more obvious. Let's see. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's getting pretty bad. There's a weird shimmering, whatever that flickering thing is. Um, you know, the lights are kind of shimmering. However, if we go back now and we turn on, uh, let's, so now we'll go to balanced XCSS here. And there's no more shimmering. And so now on balanced XCSS, we can see here that weird kind of shimmering effect um, in the trees is gone. It's whatever that thing in the middle there is gone too. And there's no weird like tree shimmering around the edge of the bows. It's just gone. Um, and we can even turn this up just a little higher just to prove the point here. 
So with FSR, I noticed that especially around like plant foliage and that kind of thing, there's always like a weird kind of shimmering effect. I don't know. It's just really odd. With XCSS, that it just it's not there. So you do lose a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of performance when you go with XCSS over FSR. But FSR just doesn't look as good. The, the surfaces look muddy. Um, you know, there's like weird sparkling around the foliage. It's just not as crisp. Um, so objectively, I think XCSS in this game specifically looks better. Um, you do lose a couple frames here and there. However, it looks way better to play with XCSS. Let's come in here real quick and we'll do one more thing. Because, I mean, this is 4K, so we have more pixels to work with. Let's drop it down to 1440p and uh, let's have a look. So we're going to go back here. We'll go 1440p native again. And, I mean, looks good. Looks like 1440p. No shimmering, nothing like that. Let's come in here and now we'll turn on X. Now we'll turn on FSR. I will just go with balanced when I'm going to go to performance. And uh, yeah, you know, you're getting that weird kind of sparkling effect. You can see it now in like forest over here. The whole forest looks weird kind of. There's like a, I don't know, um, I can't remember what that's called. There's like a um, checkerboard kind of pattern in the middle there. Um, you know, the trees just look weird. Everything just looks kind of weird. And that's just balanced. Let's turn it up to performance and see here. Like it just it just doesn't look good. There's all this weird sparkly kind of stuff all over the place. It almost looks like there's like lights or something in the forest. I noticed this in Red Dead too, as well. And then we'll come in here and we'll turn on fidelity effect. We'll turn on uh, XCSS. So let's just go with uh, balanced whatever we start with, and it's gone. No weird sparkling. Like the the forest is a forest, right? And we'll turn it up one just to do another comparison here. I mean, the image is softer, but it looks way, way better than FSR. So my takeaway from this video, there's two. Uh, the first is that uh, Cyberpunk got like a weird stealth upgrade. So the developers or Intel or somebody just basically improved the performance by like 20 to 30 percent and didn't tell anybody. Um, I just came in and it just performs way better. So if you have a 1440p screen, honestly, you can just play natively. As long as you have ray tracing off, you'll still get 60. Um, the other interesting thing is that if you're, and then the second takeaway is that it now has XCSS and XCSS is really good. I mean, FSR is nice because it supports every card and it's in way more games, but XCSS, in my opinion, is a better technology. Um, it looks better than FSR. You may, you know, you get around the same performance. You might lose like, I don't know, 2% or something, 3% against FSR. However, it looks way better. You don't get those weird like artifacting that you get in the trees with FSR. Uh, it just looks great. Um, and the images just all look soft. It preserves the natural way that it looked much better than FSR. That's especially evident when you're playing at 1440p. At 4K, it's still noticeable. However, at 1440p, you can really notice the fidelity drop and the weird artifacting with FSR.